Hi, everyone. I'm Inga Lennis. I'm the Senior Vice President for Practice Improvement and Patient Experience here in the Massachusetts General Physicians Organization and MGH. And I'm here with um, Tatiana Sultzbach, who is the Director of International Services and also the person who has um, volunteered to help lead the employee testing program that just recently started at MGH. So we're here today to discuss that. So welcome, Tatiana. Thanks for being with us. Dr. Lennis, thank you very much for having me. It's a pleasure to be part of this wonderful initiative. Great. Um, so I thought first we'd start off by just um, having you tell us a little bit about this initiative. What is it? How did it get started? Um, and, um, and then we can go into some more of the details of how it works. Absolutely. Thank you so much. This is an initiative that is started about 12 days ago. We opened a, a clinic or a site that is called the Asymptomatic Employee Testing Site. And as its name refers to, we are able to open these for employees who have not been exposed to COVID, who do not have any symptoms, and who are wanting to just get a test. Um, it's a very convenient process. We have implemented two different platforms to be able to register first and the second one to be able to get an appointment. It takes only a couple of minutes to be able to register through a platform called LabPass where you provide your personal information. And after that, um, you answer a very small or very short health questionnaire. And soon after that, you're able to use the second platform called SuperSAS to schedule an appointment. Um, the system is very intuitive and it's very fast. So you can actually schedule whenever um, you have a free time and it's a very convenient process. Oh, that's great. Um, so tell me how far out can I access a schedule right now to, to schedule a test? It's a really good question. We're scheduling two weeks in advance. Um, and we highly encourage you to visit the Apollo site on uh, human resources for additional information. But for the next couple of weeks, we're going to have testing on Monday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays from 6 a.m. until 7 p.m. With the exception of the Thanksgiving week, where we're altering the days just a little bit. And we're testing on Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, and Saturday of that week. Okay. And so once I'm signed up, um, what should I expect on the day that I, I have my testing? What you could expect is to arrive just a few minutes before your appointment. Please have your ID badge um, on you. You need to be able to provide your COVID attestation pass for that day. If you're not working on that day, please make sure that you arrive when you don't have any symptoms and then you're able, we're able to register you really quickly and then provide you a label. And then after that, you will be taken into the conference room where we are actually um, providing the observed self-administered test. It, the whole process takes about five to 10 minutes at the most. Oh, that's wonderful. Um, and then how much longer after that should I, will I wait before the test comes back? The test results tend to be ready between 24 and 36 hours. However, we're seeing actually test results a lot sooner than that. Um, and they can actually be accessed through the portal that you're going to sign up when you register um, to have this appointment. If for some reason your test is positive, then you will receive a call from Occupational Health. Oh, great. So how, what's the feedback been like since you started the program? We've been receiving very positive feedback from all of our wonderful employees. Um, everybody's very grateful that this is a convenient process, it's an easy process, but most importantly, they're very, very grateful for the fact that we're putting our employees first. It is very much on the MGH culture to be able to put our patients first, and they happen to be our employees at this time. So we're just happy that we're able to provide this service for the many employees who've been in the battlefield all these months helping us combat this pandemic. Oh, that's great. I suppose you might also get questions about people wondering if MGH is supplying this for some reason that um, because of uh, infection rates or some other type of reason. Can you speak to sort of um, the reasons that, that the institution and I would say the entity is providing this to our employees? I can I can tell you from 
experience from working in those hospitals for the last almost eight years that MGH is very proactive. We're doing this as a service because we want, we had received feedback from our employees about wanting to have access to something like this. Um, as you may know, if you don't have symptoms, you don't really have a reason to actually go and get a test. But we've been listening to our employees and their guidance in telling us that they really want to have access to these. Therefore, this is one of the main reasons why we were able to put this together um, so soon. And we've been working on it for the last few weeks together to make sure that we actually have a good program to be able to offer to everybody. This is offered for employees only, not for family members. We highly encourage people to please come to the site when, when they're by themselves without any family members, and that includes minors. Okay. That's a good thing to know. So um, especially if you came in to do this on a day when you didn't normally work. Um, so some of the important points that I heard are that we need our badge, we need to do our attestation or um, be able to attest to having no symptoms at the, um, at the site itself. We need to come by ourselves without family members. And that's the testing is for employees only at this time. Um, and that if we have symptoms at all, we need to go through the occupational health pathway. And then I would add to that, if you are having a procedure or you need um, COVID testing for a pre-procedure reason, this is also not appropriate for that either, and you should go through your regular care provider for that type of testing. So, um, well, I want to end by just thanking Tatiana. I know that this has been a huge lift um, to set this up and to all of the people who are working on making this happen for the MGH community on behalf of all of our employees who have access to this testing and have access to it. Thank you very much uh, for your hard work. Thank you so much for having us.